So, can you sit over there? And I sit. Yeah. And I sit at the, the marker where Eugene O'Neill, there's, there's a plaque with this picture, where that bar that he wrote Iceman Cometh is about, I go from Marsha at the park to O'Neill, and I write at both of those places. Oh. And I'm on my way to New Orleans Fat Tuesday, Wednesday. and because you know I was a Tennessee Williams lover, and uh, he, he was bumped off, you know, worth more dead than alive. Oh. And um, it, this is my new play, Tennessee Williams Black Blood. There were rumors he was a mulatto. Mm. This is going to cause some controversy. And at one time, he said, quote, I am consider myself black. Now, what if the American theater found out that their greatest playwright was mixed blood and had black blood? You know, but I gotta tell you something, dear. I'm an authority on theater. 100 years before Eugene O'Neill's Robinson Players was the African Grove, a black theater. No one writes about this. I know about it. It was at Mercer and Houston, and the building is still there. Well, that's my like telegram. You believe, you believe them, right? The what? Back in like the 1800s, early 1900s, you, be it, it, you it, believe? Oh, and they yeah. were more famous in... in uh, oh, absolutely. But, you know, I gotta tell you, uh, that, that what's her name, Megan, got in, in, in trouble because she said blackface wasn't derogatory. I, 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 you know, believe me, I am like so pro-black. My uncle was at Stillman College, a black college in Alabama, 1960, with Joan Baez, I think with Dr. King, if I'm not mistaken. He knew Dr. King. He'd be 98 years old if he were alive. Wow. And I met Dr. King's granddaughter because I was in Washington for the gun protest because my lover was killed by gun to the head. Robbed in New Orleans. Oh, okay. Well, thank you very much for the food. <laughs> <It's> a spicy <laughs> interview. Randy